What is going on everybody? It's your boy back with another video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod and in my opinion probably one of the best if not the best furniture mods out there. Now what we're going to be talking about first is kitchen utensils. See the kitchen is really nice and there's so much that they added with it. You have a digital clock that I put here, you have a oven, you have a fridge, you have a dishwasher. This is one of my favorite, or probably the favorite kitchen item in here, is you put your tools and stuff in here. You put soapy water or super soapy water in there and you will have, it will repair your tools. Now soap, you make soap with clay, bone meal, and light blue dye. Now, once you made the soap, you're going to find, we're going to find soapy water. You're going to put water bucket and soap in a crafting table. Now, the best thing is super soapy water. Super soapy water is soapy water in the center with gold bars all around it. Now, you're going to put any of those up in the top right corner. You're going to put your tools in here, press start, and it will prepare it for you. Next, we're moving on to the light. These lights are really good. They're the new modern lights with a light switch, and they are amazing. And they light up quite a bit, and I just genuinely like them. They're, I think they're better than the light bulb, but I still like the light bulb. But these are some beautiful lights. They look, they're more for a fancy looking house, you know? A light bulb would be for like a storage cabinet or a storage room or something like that. Now, next is the sink. The sink is actually really cool. But one thing I've learned is put an infinite water source under it because that way you don't have to manually fill it up with um, water. You can just take the water out of it, press the tap, and it'll, re it'll put water back in there. Next is the microwave. You can cook things in here, which is pretty cool. Heat things up. Obviously, I'm pretty sure what happens is you freeze something, right? And then you take it over here, and this is how you dethaw it. Next is cookie jars. Now, let's take a look at the cookie jars. I'm going to take these cookies. Oh. I'm not 100% sure on the frozen microwave thing, but I know you can heat stuff up with this. Now, see, the cookie jar even holds cookies by right-clicking. And then you can right-click to take it back out, which is honestly awesome. Now, the toaster, it works by taking sliced bread, and you can put it in there and it'll create toast. But my favorite thing that has to do with any of these, like, small utensils is probably the trash can. Because I can put this in here. Let's say you have a zombie apocalypse map or something that you want to do. You can actually use the trash cans as, like, storage things for, like, loot, supposedly, that you find. Because, look, it's still in there. I have to click empty for it to go away, which is pretty cool. And you got all these drawers and everything. You have a digital clock that works right. Watch. We're going to see. It sets right at 6 o'clock. Next, you have these nice, beautiful modern tables that I think just look phenomenal in a kitchen. And that's it for the kitchen area so far that I've made right here. But this mod is just absolutely amazing with how much detail it shows. Like, it would be good for any mod pack or anything. Because let's say it's better than just a chair and sign. Or not chair, my bad. Staircase and sign that creates a chair. But you can't sit in it like these. And also, the tables on normal Minecraft, you take fences and pressure plates. That's not as fancy as these tables. This mod is seriously worth downloading. It will just spruce up anything that you have on your map. Now, let's get into the like mini office area. As you see, you have a printer, which you can use ink cartridges on, which is pretty cool. You have a computer, my favorite thing, because it has mine bay. You can buy stuff with emeralds or iron or diamonds and stuff like that which is pretty cool if you ask me then you have these chairs you can sit in and all that you have a radio or a stereo you right click it to turn it on you shift right click it to turn it off 
Then you have these really nice couches. They actually do have modern versions of almost everything. You have blinds, you have presents, you have a Christmas tree, you have picture frames. You even have a diving board for a swimming pool. You have beautiful beds. They're, they've just worked on this mod so much. Mr. Crayfish did phenomenal on this mod. Like, look at this. A trampoline? That's just awesome. And it works, too. Actually, we'll show you at a later time. Now, you got a fire alarm, even. Which is just cool. Like, that's just a little attention to detail that matters, you know? Then you got TVs, plates that actually hold stuff, which is pretty cool. You have a lot. But look, you can sit in the couch. Now, the TVs, they work. You take a GIF from online, you put the URL in there, or um, you put the GIF link in there, you turn on power, and bada bing bada boom, you can have a GIF on this screen. Then you get all these cabinets that hold stuff. But what really gets me is the GIF thing. That I just find awesome that they had that much attention to detail because you used to have certain GIFs. Now you have anyone that you can find that's compatible. There's a lot. There used to only be three channels, which there still is, but you can customize your own GIFs as long as they're not over four megabytes. Now, another thing is these ceiling fans. You can turn them on, which is cool. I really like that. Next, we're moving on to the bathroom. You have washing machines, which basically you take armor pieces. You put soapy water or super soapy water up in the top right corner, and you click start and bada bing bada boom it starts fixing your armor now the same thing happened with these you might have to do it with this one i'm going to do it just in case where's um a water bucket i'm going to demonstrate this to you i might have to do it with this one too if i'm correct will that create water out of that oh no that one just does does it naturally I'm gonna put a water under these. These you might not have to, but I'm doing just to try it, but I know this one you probably will. You're gonna take water, put like an unlimited water source. Boom. You can fill up the bath. And then you can do the same thing with the sink. Now look at this mirror. They took so much attention to detail that you can actually see yourself in the mirror and all the blocks. That to me is just amazing. Like, look at that. And it distorts it a little bit as you go out. That's pretty cool. And you could use these as storage. And I love how they made the picture in the back. Instead of it just being like a chest or anything, they actually took the time of making it look like shelves and stuff, you know? And you got a shower, which is, I like the shower. It's pretty cool. Next, we're moving on to like a living room type thing. You have coffee tables. You have big couch. You have a TV, you have a modern TV stand. There's so much more you could do with this mod. I'm showing y'all just the top piece of it, like the top little bit of it. I couldn't think of a statement right there. Because this mod has so much in it. Like there's modern, there's the older times where you can use normal wood or you can get like a, let me find it, a modern coffee table. As you see, ooh. Yeah, modern light, modern outdoor table, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you got these things right here. The modern versions, which is pretty cool. I feel like these couches, yeah, I feel like these couches are nicer like that, while these couches are made for corners and things. Then you got this modern coffee table, which the modern look is really fantastic. I really like it, and I love how the lights work. What I like to do with the lights, because I'm pretty sure sometimes they're aggravating, is like, see how that's not connecting to them? Well, what I like to do is I'll take it, the um, light switch. After you place the modern lights, you're going to right click, right click, right click, then you're going to place it on the wall. And they should work. Yep, they work now, which is pretty cool pretty cool I like that little detail now over here I've made a house to 
demonstrate how much it would spruce it up. Like, they made bushes. They made a grill. They made all this picket fence, pebbles for the ground, the walkway, a mailbox. Like, let's say your friend delivers mail in a role play or something, which is pretty cool. And you got the gate, and they allow double doors instead of just a single one, which is pretty nice. You have a working doorbell. Like, just look at how you can spruce up a house. See? You could just spruce up a house. See, this is cups. They even have placeable cups. But this mod adds just so much to your game. It's honestly one of the best ones out there. Like, look at the bed. Like, that. those beds just look phenomenal. And it leads to a TV. The TVs actually have a remote to change the channel from far away. Up here, I didn't do too much because I didn't even plan on making upstairs. But look. See, lights off. Boom, lights on. And then the toilet even works. You can press G to fart, which is pretty cool. The showers, you can take showers. It's just phenomenal how much attention to detail they went into with this mod. Like, it honestly is pretty awesome. Like, even the lamps work, dude. It's awesome. This is probably one of my highly recommended mods that I would recommend to you. If you were building maybe a city roleplay or anything like that. Or just playing Minecraft in general. It will make your house and your map just a little, that little bit better that you want, you know? It'll just add so much for being such a simple mod, you know? And with that, I think that'll be it for this episode. I would highly suggest you go download this mod for your world. Because it is a very, very nice mod. And it's very simple to use. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit me with that like button. And while you're down there, you should definitely subscribe. I hope you all have a great day. See you next time.